Guys, I've decided. I'm getting a beehive. But not just any hive with your average honeybees. I'm getting a beehive of stingless bees. That's right, bees that naturally don't have stingers. Trust me guys, you will find these amazing eusocial insects just as awesome as ants. Welcome to the Ants Canada Ant Channel Bee Edition. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Welcome to the AC family. Enjoy. This week I was able to do some research and make the preparations needed for my first beehive. Something I've dreamed of doing since I was just a little kid. Don't worry guys, this channel will not be changing its name to Bees Canada. But both ants and bees do share a lot of things in common. Which is understandable since both ants and bees belong to the same class of insects known as Hymenoptera. But I think our first bee colony would fit in quite nicely on the channel. Wouldn't you think? Start thinking of names guys and leave your name suggestions for our first bee colony in the comments as we take an intimate look into the neat lives of stingless bees and my plans on where we'll be keeping them. And don't worry ant lovers, I'll also be showing you some cool ants I saw and filmed later on in this video as well as a new queen ant I caught. So be sure to stick around until the end for all that. So earlier this week, I had the chance to visit a really neat place in the mountains with the most beautiful garden of various herbs and flowers. There were a ton of awesome ants too, which again I'll be showing you in a bit. But one of the things in this garden I was most excited about were the stingless beehives. AC family, behold a busy beehive of Tetragonula beroi, aka stingless bees. Now stingless bees can be found in most tropical and subtropical regions of the world, but these girls are a species endemic to the Philippines, where I currently live. And in case you thought I lived in Canada due to the channel name, you can get your answers after watching this video by clicking here for an explanation as to how I ended up moving to the Philippine Islands, as it's a whole other odd story. But anyway, these stingless bees are super cool. They're pretty much like normal honeybees, but much smaller. They're the size of a grain of rice, so pretty much ant-sized. They typically make their colonies in old bamboo, as seen here, and are frequently found around bamboo or wooden structures. You'll notice that some of the bees have these cool yellow balls on their hind legs. These are called corbiculi, or pollen baskets full of pollen collected from flowers. You see, when the bees visit flowers, they do two things. First, drink the sweet nectar, which will be turned into honey back at the nest, but also they collect pollen grains, which stick to the various body hairs, before getting brushed and compacted into these corbiculi or pollen baskets on their hind legs. Pretty cool that bees have pollen fanny packs on their hind legs, right? One cool thing you'll notice is that some of the bees are just sitting on the outside of the nest and around the entrance. The first thing you need to know about these bees loitering around the outside of the nest is that they're the oldest members of the colony. Like ants, only the oldest bees are allowed to leave the nest. The youngest bees stay inside and perform babysitting, queen care, food production, and home constructing duties. Some of these outside bees have a really cool job. Literally. You see how some of these bees stand in place and flap their wings? Well. These bees are the colony's climate control managers. They're fanning air into the nest to help remove hot air from within the nest. Pretty cool, right? The bees are also capable of heating up a nest if needed by collectively buzzing their wings to generate a wave of heat on cold days. In this case though, the bees are in nest cooling mode as the temperature on this day was well over 30 degrees C or 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Heated bees inside the nest can also make the move outside to help keep the inside temperatures cooler, which is what most of these bees are doing here. They're also ready to swarm any small intruder that might try to enter their nest to feed on their honey, pollen, and larvae. And AC family, you won't believe who their greatest intruders are. Along this wooden beam are an army that just loves stingless bee honey and will stop at nothing to get it. Ants. This is a species of Nylandaria ant, which are also native to the area, but are the stingless bee's greatest enemy. 
They come in swarms, transfer information on location of food to members of the colony super fast, and will often advance onto a hive of stingless bees to devour their honey and larvae if given the chance. Look at them! These are bee killers! Now you might be thinking, okay, so if the bees don't have stingers, how then do they defend their nests from such honey-loving ants? Well, the bees have an interesting line of defense. The openings to their hives. The opening to the hive in stingless bees is quite an amazing structure. It's a labyrinth entrance with a specific way in. Every colony's hive opening is different, and only the bees know the quickest and correct way into the heart of their nest from the outside. To compare, here is the labyrinth entrance of another stingless beehive, not too far away. Having a labyrinth-style hive entrance makes it harder for intruders, like ants, to get inside to steal and eat their honey, young and queen. This hole here is one of the many alternative nest entrances that is probably just a decoy, which leads to somewhere other than where the colony is living. The idea is to stop any invading ants the moment they show up, so while a single patrolling ant discovers the hive and tries desperately to get inside, it will most likely get lost in the labyrinth, which gives the bees more than enough time to catch the ant and kill it by biting it or carrying it away from the nest before it ever gets a chance to make it back to its colony to call for backup. It's an amazing defense strategy against the ants, but sadly, it doesn't always work. I noticed this dead stingless beehive here which probably lost its battle against an ant colony. So is the circle of life, I guess. Now about having a colony of stingless bees, I plan on officially starting in a few months, just outside the ant house I'm building. You can watch a video about that ant house here, if you're curious. But basically, I'll need to plant a lot of flowers and fruit-bearing plants in the yard first, as the bees will need it to thrive. In fact, these stingless bees are one of the most important pollinators in the agriculture industry where I live, as they're small enough to pollinate even the smallest flowerettes. They improve the quality and yields of so many agricultural produce like coconuts, mango, and other fruits. I personally love them and can't wait to have a hive of stingless bees. I plan on somehow creating a nest or bee box that I can stick my camera into so we can have a look at the action inside up close. Wouldn't that be something, AC family? Let me know your thoughts, and if you guys think keeping a stingless beehive is something you look forward to for us on this channel. If any of you are apiculture nerds, I especially would love to hear your ideas and suggestions on how we can best establish a healthy beehive, or two, or five. Bees like ants are extremely important in the ecosystems they're part of. In this current age where we are hearing about alarming declines in bee populations, habitat protection, sustainable agricultural practices, and climate change are becoming increasingly critical topics in mainstream discussions. I think all of us, AC family, making up such a large body of the YouTube insect community will surely help do our part by discovering what owning a beehive is like once we finally welcome our great beehive colony to the channel and by promoting what we find in our own little ways to everyone we know and hopefully in the process inspire more people out there perhaps some of you watching to become beekeepers yourselves thank you for watching and until the day comes when we finally welcome our first beehive to the channel and have a taste of their sweet honey always remember guys it's ant and be love forever. AC family, did you enjoy this week's episode? I can't wait for our first hive of stingless bees. So if you haven't yet, do smash that subscribe button and bell icon now and hit all so you get notified at every upload. And don't forget to hit the like button every single time, including now. It would really mean a lot to me, guys. Thank you. AC and our colony, I have left a hidden cookie for you here for a video of the new queen ant I found and caught, as mentioned at the start of this video. Go check her out. And guys, it's that time of the year again. We just launched our biggest ant promo yet. The AC Holiday Sale 2020, where you get 20% off our AC Ant Tower Small and AC Hybrid Nest Mini over at our shop at antscanada.com. And on top of that, if you use the promo code ANTLOVEFOREVER2020, you get our Ultimate Ant Keeping Handbook eBook, complete with care guides on specific commonly kept ant species. 
totally free, which you can add to your cart before checking out. Our easy to use ant farms, which you see me use in my videos, make an awesome holiday gift for anyone who loves ants. We ship worldwide and also offer full email support if you need our help. Plus, if you didn't catch a queen ant this season and need ants, just visit the Queen Ants for Sale tab on our site to look for ant colony sellers in your area. Just a reminder, this promo ends January 1st and you need to order before December 17th if within US or December 10th if outside the US if you hope to receive your package before Christmas. So visit AntsCanada.com today and own your very own AC ant farm and pet ant colony. And now it's time for the AC question of the week. Last week we asked, why would making the pyramids hollow make things more complicated for us? Congratulations to Morgan Jackson, who answered, the ants would want to nest in them because they are dark and the caves are not, which means we wouldn't get to see them. Congratulations, Morgan. You just won a free ultimate ant keeping handbook from our shop. In this week's AC question of the week, we ask, what is unique about the entrances of stingless beehives? Leave your answer in the comments section and you could also win a free ultimate ant keeping handbook from our shop. Hope you can subscribe to the channel as we upload every Saturday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe if you enjoyed this video to help us keep making more. It's Ant Love forever.